Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check out the new Ishin Tiny Cube. This is the new tar from Ishin, which is 15 by 15 millimeters. Things are getting really smaller. This just came in these four bags. In two of the bags we got these two-in-one ECs, which means we're gonna have two boards for the EC controllers. We got the flight controller and I chose to get the EfferSky version. This is a D8 receiver. So let's open all these bags and see what we've got inside. So let's start with the EfferSky compatible D8 receiver. On top we have here the bind button. In order to bind we'll have to put your tyrannus on D8, hit the bind and then just power the tiny cube. And we have also these switches. You can see that the KE is on two position and the ON on top position. So now it's configured to be on SBUS. If you switch it up, it's going to be configured on PPM. Over here we have this port, which is intended to be used with this included wire. So this is the ground plus five volts. And then we have here the SBUS wire and this one is the PPM wire. Which means that if you use SBUS, you can remove this wire and if you use PPM, just remove this wire. The weight of the receiver is 1.32 grams. Next we have the flight controller. It is an F3 flight controller and look how small it is. This is the 15 by 15 millimeters flight controller. You can see how it looks next to the 20 by 20 Ishin Minicube flight controller so it looks much smaller and this is a very small flight controller and this is a regular size flight controller so you can see how small it is this is ridiculous the weight of the flight controller is 1.67 grams the weight of the mini cube is 2.65 grams so this one is one gram lighter the flight controller has a built-in PDB and you can see we have a full-sized micro USB port versus the new mini cube that has a smaller port which you have to use an adapter with. On the side we have all the connectors for the motors. We're gonna connect the motor one here, motor two here, motor three and motor four over here. So these are the signal pads and on each side we have the plus and minus connectors. So this is minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus and minus. On the side we have the buzzer port over here. This is the buzzer plus, this is the buzzer minus. We have here the plus 3.3 volt and here we have the ground. These two top ones are ground, these two are plus 5 volts. If you're going to use LED you need to connect it to this pad and the, our receiver is going to be connected to this hole over here. Moving next to the ESCs, we got these two boards. These are 6 ampere BLL ESC controllers. The weight of each board is 1.71 grams. On the right side, we have these three pads going to connect to motor number one. These two, three are going to be connected to motor number two. We have here the plus, this is the ground. And over here, we've got the signal for motor number one. And this one is the signal for motor number two. The total weight of the boards is 6.36 grams and if we're going to, in, in the, to add the spacers and the wires we're going to get to around 7.3 grams. So this is very very light. On one of my next build videos I'm going to build this stack and see how it will be compatible with the frame I will choose. Probably it will take me about two weeks and then I will release a build video. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this tiny cube, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.